Here we are, hatch steam engineers. We're retubing a Cochrane boiler, which is in the Vic 56 um, steam uh, uh, steamboat, which was a, a, known as a puffer. Okay, so it's a retube. Um, the retube's been brought about because of the fact that some of the stay tubes were really badly pitted. So it's uh, has to take all the main tubes out to get get to the stay tubes. We've made five new stay tubes, uh, which have been fitted. And uh, these are made from eight mil diameter, uh, sorry, eight mil wall thickness tube, pressure tube, seamless, and they're different size. They're two and two and a half inch at the small end of standard tube, and then two and eleven sixteenths, nine TPI, um, which seems to be a boiler standard boiler thread. So what we're going to do is fit this tube now into the remaining one that we're replacing, which is in this corner. We've got a little bit of. Um, it would be joyful uh, washing up liquid to go on the ends. My mate Sam is at the other side of the boiler Hello. because he's going to uh, pick up the tube on the way through with a bar so that we can engage the thread the other end and I'm going to drive it from this end. So. The tube's about four foot six long and as I said, the threads have been screw cut on the lathe consecutively so that, uh, so that they pick up. Okay, all right, Sam? You? No, we can do. Okay. All right? See daylight still at the top. Yeah. Does yeah, it want to go right. up a bit? Right? I can see a gap all the way around at the moment. Is it going? Uh, just starting. Right. Just starting. What's happening now? The tube's now picking up in the other tube plate, so I've got to wind uh, probably a lot harder. Okay. The 
two plates on this boiler and a one inch thick both ends. So it's quite a lot of winding to be doing. some bits of tube sticking out these were put on before they were machined and so I could hold these in the lathe on the in the chuck they're only held on by three tack welds and they fit up the tube and uh, what we'll do is just nick the tack welds and pull those out and they enable us to screw them in as well so that's the uh, stay tubes then we can go on there with the normal flue tubes good job that's it. 